Tracy Bravo, and I'm teaching you how to work from home for yourself as a virtual assistant. What I love most about virtual assisting is just the ability to work on many different types of tasks. If you love writing and graphic design, you will love this task. It's something that a lot of major companies and small business have in place so they can market themselves and bring in extra money. I'm talking about email newsletters. They're a ton of fun to work on and you can work with email managers like ConvertKit, ActiveCampaign, and MailChimp. But before that, you'll need to become a little bit more familiarized with it. I would encourage you to create a free account on these email managers and design a mock-up newsletter that you can just mess around with. There's a ton of email managers, but today we're going to talk about MailChimp. It's my personal favorite and one of the most popular used ones out there. Let's get hands on. So this is the MailChimp dashboard. You can see your client's last sent email newsletter and the metrics of how many people it went out to. You could see the open rate and it even shows you the amount that they made from that email campaign. I currently don't have any courses or digital products for sale. So that's why mine is at zero. I won't go through all of these, just the main places that you'll need to know when you're managing emails for a client. This side, you'll see campaigns. This is where you can see all the outgoing and sent emails and the metrics for each email there is. So that's pretty helpful to know. I'm gonna pick a random one to replicate and we can get into the actual newsletter and see all the features that you can use to edit it. This is the fun part. You can see this email newsletter and just use all of these elements so that you can add different parts to the newsletter. You can add images. You can create these headers in Canva and I will make another video to show you how you can create these cool headers that you can use in your email newsletters. And one of the pro tips that I always, always recommend after you've added in all of your elements and updated the copy, however your client tells you to do it, then you can go ahead and I would use this preview feature and always, always look at how it will look on mobile. The desktop view, you just look at it from there, mobile. This way you can see if maybe, maybe the font is a little bit too big or maybe an image needs to be a little smaller or a little bit bigger, maybe the title. This is just a good way to see how it would look on all of those audience. This is where you can come if your client wants to tag contacts for different topics, for instance, tagging the paid members versus the free members. And you can also manually add contacts here as well. Automations, this is for your emails to go out in a sequence. So for instance, what happens if someone clicks subscribe to your client's course, then they should get an email after that to welcoming them to the course. And then another email after that a week later, just to follow up how it's going. So you can set up those automations and have those emails go out at those certain times here. Journeys, pre-built journeys and transactional email. This is analytics. I, like I said, don't have anything for sale, so I don't use this feature, but it is nice that they have this available for you to see. That way you can keep track of how much income has been coming in from each email campaign that has been sent out. So that's pretty helpful to have in your arsenal and to help your client to keep track of that. Website, so MailChimp has this feature where you can create your own website in there as well. But most times your client will already have their own website with either Squarespace or WordPress, but still kind of nice that they have that feature there. Content, this is where you will be able to see all of the uploads that you've put in there, like those colorful headers or any graphics, you'll find those here. Integrations, most times you won't really use this, but it's very cool to know that you can connect all of these different apps and features with your other clients, things that they have going on. So it could all be seamless in one place. Well, that's MailChimp. I can honestly say it's the easiest to use and their chat support is really helpful. A++ to them. I encourage you to make your free account and create your own creative email draft, play around with it, learn how it works, and you can feel more confident to offer that service as a extra 
virtual assisting skill that you can have under your tool belt. So keep watching. Thanks so much for following and make sure to subscribe.